Today I will be showing you uh, new models, or at least at this point in time, um, they were referred to as first editions, and they were from 1999. Um, I have about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 cars, so we'll get to it. We'll start off with this one. It's a 1999 Mustang. These are all going to be from 1999. Um... It says two cars of 26 cars, and at least on, labeled on each package, there were only 26 cars. I don't know if I have all the first editions, but I have probably a, a good portion of them, and a lot of times I don't intend on buying everything. And here's the back of the card. Okay, and we'll take it out. So this car is actually pretty cool. It's a nice purple color. Um, I'm not sure if this was recently released. Um, they did have this f series called Ford Performance. I actually have a set down here. Uh, I'd have to check. There might be one in here. Let's see. Uh, 99 Mustang. Yep. It was released in the Ford Performance series. Recently. Now, I don't know how much it really changed from that. Um, the bases are obviously both plastic. Um, yeah, I don't think there's anything else. We'll take a look at this um, tan interior and not really any headlights. It does have the Mustang logo, which looks pretty good on here. Um, we'll go to the next car now, uh, which is a 1970 Chevelle SS. Um, what's good about this casting is it's all metal. Um, I think later releases were plastic. Um, I do have a a plastic one. I think that one. I'm not sure specifically what year that one was released, but I have a gold one, and it has a plastic base. And I think it was only a few years different than this. That's pretty heavy. Um, it's a nice blue color. And I bought all these cars online from Let Go. That's how I got all these at one time. And I had like four or five of these Chevelles. They're pretty cool. All metal. I don't know if I had any variations. I don't really care much for variations collecting. You should just collect one and that's it. Uh, I may collect different colors of it as well. Pretty cool. Um, yeah, like I said, it's pretty heavy. We'll move on to the next car. Put that back in there. Um, next one is the Olds Aurora GTS-1. Uh, I'm not sure if any of the card art's really different. It has a little checklist on the back. We'll take it out. Okay. It's like a gray ca car. Um, it's kind of like a race car. It has all those tamples. Um, no headlight or taillight tamples. There are side hood tamples and roof tamples. It's pretty cool. Um, one thing I look for a lot of times is if there's a name on the base. A lot of times when I'm uh, uh, organizing my collecting my collection, I'll uh, look for that and then I'll put it in the computer. I might eventually show you how I file my cars on, on the computer because I keep them, I keep track of them, and uh, I use that information for when I'm like at flea markets and stores and stuff if so I don't accidentally buy like a bunch of one car okay the next car I got this one I think I had but since this one's in great condition I decided to keep it and that's why I have this one um, it's the Monte Carlo concept car and it's all metal I don't know if there's back is any different it might just say collect these cars that might be different anyways we'll take it out it's a heavy casting as well, all metal, uh, metal body and metal base. It's a nice red color. Yeah. And does it have taillight tamples? It doesn't look like it. Yeah. There's hardly any other paint other than this little Hot Wheels logo on it. So when I bought all these cars from uh, this online seller, um, I did have a whole bunch of uh, duplicates, and I, I 
sold some of them on my yard sale. Um, if I already had them, I, I would like uh, get rid of the old one. But since I had one of these and I had it as a kid, I decided to, to uh, keep both of them for that reason. Um, next car we got. Uh, this one I actually have two colors, but I may have opened it in another video and I didn't want to show it again. Um, this one's semi-fast. I thought when I first got this, I thought there was a moving part. I thought this cab opens, but I don't think it does, because when I was fiddling with the other one, it didn't open. Unless it does, you know, it does kind of budge a lot on this one. Yeah, I don't know if there's any hinges, but I don't want to accidentally break it. So if you know if it opens, um, I would like to know. Um, yeah. So back to this, uh, it has like a little hole where you could add something. I don't know if they ever had a trailer that you can put with this. Oh no, it's pretty cool. Um, it's not realistic. I don't think you'll see a big truck like this. It looks more futuristic. And it's mostly plastic with just a metal base. Okay, we'll move to the next one. Um, the Porsche 911 GT3 CUP. Or if it's just called Cup, take it out. This one has a lot of Tamples like racing style tamples has lens headlights so they don't have them painted in. I think a lot of people like that because they can modify it and add real headlights. Yeah, this one's actually pretty cool. Um, it has a plastic spoiler. Um, let's see the seat. It has a racing style seat in there. Yeah, I don't know if I can compare it. As you can see, this is a regular seat on this one. And this one doesn't have a passenger seat. I think most real race cars don't have. So this is like a harness and stuff to, so that if the person gets in an accident on the race course, they don't get severely hurt. Yeah. Take a look. Oh no, this one's pretty cool. Um, we'll move on to the next casting. Uh, I don't know. Put it back in here. Um, next one. I'm not sure if this is a real vehicle, but it does say Fiat, Fiat 500C. Um, this could have been like maybe a racing vehicle or something that they made. Um, or it could have been like a concept car, but it's probably more than likely a racing vehicle. Yeah. And like I said, I'm not 100% sure if it's real or not. But it looks pretty cool. It's all metal, except the plastic spoiler. And this little plastic chrome engine part, along with the uh, side pipes, it's pretty cool. Um, um, nothing else. Um, at first, this front kind of reminded me of the uh, Volkswagen uh, Beetle, um, that small one. I forgot exactly what that one's called. I think it's it had like a Moon Eyes release. Okay, so. Next, we'll go to the next one. Hold on, here's. Okay, so the next vehicle is Track T. Um, I don't think there's anything different on this card art. Let me check. Nope, they're all about the same. Yeah. I might eventually do a card art video. Because I have a bunch of cards I kept. Um, and I went through them one day. And threw away the duplicates. But um, the only thing they change on, so, at least some of the newer ones, they had like uh, little tidbits of information on here. I don't think these from this year had it. Anyways, we'll get back to the car. It's real small, it's all metal. Um, not sure how if it's even made anymore much. It's nice, I like the black color. Um, some flameage on the front. Kind of looks like a demon or something. See, there's the mouth. Looks pretty cool. I'm not really sure what this is called. If it's anything special. If it's like a seat cover. Um, I think this might be a one person vehicle anyway. Looks pretty cool. All metal. Again. Yeah. It's pretty small. Um, next car is called the Pop Cycle. Open it up. Okay. I don't think there's any moving parts on this. I kind of thought maybe this dome would. 
Yeah. I when this was in the, in the package, I didn't even notice this. It has a little mo uh, bike in it. Let's see. I, I don't know if that's how they drive it or something. No, it's right here. That's the driver's compartment, and I guess it's supposed to transport a bike. Looks pretty cool. Um, I'm not sure if it opens at all. I don't want to force it if it doesn't. But it is mostly metal. It has a name on the base. Um, a few things are plastic. Is this little uh, compartment and the engine parts right there? Oh no, it's pretty cool. Not sure if it's made much at all. Um, as far as I've been collecting since 2014, I don't think it's been in the uh, lineup. But still pretty cool. Um, next one. This is a casting that I collect, and I think the last time this was released, this is called the Phaeton, um, was an Easter series, and I think it was all metal then. Um, this car is mostly metal, with the exception of the removable uh, rooftop. And uh, I think this is supposed to be like a, based off a 40 style car. They made this a bunch of times, and most of the ones that they've released looked pretty cool. Yeah, and we'll take off the little hood. It just pops right off. Um, if you ever find this on a, like a yard sale loose, that's usually what's missing is the roof. Pretty much anything that has removable parts, and you, you buy them on a yard sale, chances are they're going to be lost. Yeah. And you know, usually kids aren't really that good with stuff, and they end up losing most of their stuff. And I think I do have some... Hot Wheels are missing stuff. Obviously, I, I think I've said this once. The Diora, they had removable surfboards. The Diora 2 actually is the one I had, and I lost those. Okay, we'll move on to the next one. This one called Screamin' Holler. Um, at first, I thought there was something missing on this, but I had to look online. Because I thought there was going to be like a whole window that went over this, but um, yeah, I don't know why I thought that. Uh, scratch, nope. It looked like there was just something on the car. It looks pretty cool. It's a weird truck like car. Um, it is a Hot Wheels original. Um, it does have all, it's all metal with a few plastic parts. Um, always the wheels are going to be plastic, so I don't really refer to those that much. Um, this little engine part I think is plastic. Um, the seat is metal. I don't know if the steering wheel is metal as well. Looks metal to me. A little windshield. Real tiny. Yeah, it's a real weird vehicle. Um, okay, we'll move to the next one, which is this Ford GT. Um, I think this one's still made once in a while. It's a pretty cool car. Um, yeah. These are made by Ford. Um, I think I've only ever seen a Ford GT once in real life. Um, never see these vehicles. I think I, what's more common are like Porsches and once in a while I'll see a Ferrari or a Lamborghini. But in real life I only think I've seen this once. It's a pretty cool vehicle. Um, it has a name on the base. Plastic base. Still pretty cool. Give it a spin. Um, I don't think it has any headlight or taillight tamples on here. Um, this particular vehicle, I'm not sure if they have folding headlights, so they may not even tap that on there for that reason. Kind of looks like it has a little cutout there to show that it's that. I think those folding headlights were kind of like a 90s thing and uh, maybe 80s thing. You don't see them much on cars anymore. Um, next vehicle we got is a Jeepster. I'm not sure if this is a real vehicle or not. I didn't do any research on these because when I have a whole lot of cars to show to the camera end up don't doing research I don't do much research this one's is all metal so maybe it is a Hot Wheels original it says Jeepster on the base and it looks like a Jeep so it could be a real Jeep um, comment if you're if I'm wrong it's pretty cool nothing special um, if I were to have bought these at like a flea market, I probably would have skipped on this one. Um, uh, like a lot of times at the flea market, they'll have a deal, uh, buy 
12, you get them for 10. But since I got them in a whole bunch of stuff, um, since I already paid for them anyways, I might as well keep a couple, keep a lot of this stuff, even if I don't care for them that much, because I got a great deal. I think I ended up paying like 60 cents a car when I bought these in Lego. Um, next car we got, not, I think this might be a real vehicle, it's like a, a weird race vehicle, Shadow MK, uh, I think it's IIA, open it, I didn't open it that great, let's see here, it's pretty cool, it's uh, metal with a plastic base, metal spoiler too, that's a plus, yeah, metal, yeah, I don't know if that's a different, that must be a different piece there, this like little engine part is also metal. Yeah. But everything else is bases, plastic in the seats, whatever the hell this thing is. That's a nice color, a nice black. It's got some racing style tampos. And it's got like Goodyear, Valvoline, STP, all those uh, big companies you'll see on regular NASCAR cars. Same in the back. It says Hot Wheels right there. Yeah, it's a nice color. Um, only got three left here to look at, and then we're done. Um, this one is the Ford truck, 56 Ford truck. Um, this one, I think, has some obvious ch changes that make it so that they uh, won't make it this way anymore. This little hood part opens. Um, not sure if they took it away. Um, I think I might have a later release. It doesn't have the hood, but I think after, I think I, I also have another one, like maybe a few years after this one, that does have the opening hood. So, I'm pretty sure they probably did change this, or if they didn't discontinue it. Um, anyways, it's a nice truck, like a grayish blue, I guess. Genuine Ford parts. That little part's plastic. Base is also plastic, with a name on it. Now, um, in real life, I I think I can tell if a car or truck actually is a Ford, is this type of grill you'll see on a real car. Yeah. And I think um, older people can can tell you what car it is without really looking at logos and stuff. Um, my parents were always able to tell what a car was, and I never really knew how to tell. Um... Yeah, but usually it's like a shape or some kind of feature in the car you can tell right away. Like this one has that type of grill. And I think Ford trucks, probably since the 50s or 40s, did have grills like that. Um, next vehicle is a Chrysler Pronto. Um, I think this is a real vehicle, but I'm not sure if i ever seen this in real life or if it was a concept. Anyways, it's a plastic base. Metal body, uh, metal roof, it's painted black. It's okay, um, it's got some painted headlights. Uh, there's some paint right there, I think it might be like the Chrysler logo. Oh no, it's a pretty, uh, plain looking vehicle. No taillight tamples, but does have the, uh, Chrysler logo embossed in the back. Okay, and the last one is this one referred to as the Baby Boomer. Um, baby Boomers it was a name given to, like, uh, children born between, like, uh, the 1940s to the 60s or something like that. Somewhere around that. Um, probably a lot of people's parents were born that way. Um, my parents, I think, were both Baby Boomers. Um... It's a nice casting. It's got like a little stroller. Um, oh, this is the part I was looking at. I think these are supposed to be like... No, maybe it's these. Well, I think when I did some research on this casting a while back, they're supposed to be like a baby bottles. I don't know if it's these little parts, this part, or this part. It's hard to tell. You gotta look for the nipple. Yeah, I thought maybe they have two parts, but I think this might be like baby bottles. It's not detailed, so it's kind of hard to tell. But all in all, it's a pretty nice casting. Um, I think that's a pacifier or something there. Is it a steering wheel? 
or it could be rattle. Um, yeah. So it's a pretty decent casting. Um, looks like it has a lot of metal. The base is metal, and part of the body's metal. The stroller part, with the exception of the this uh, chrome parts here and this gray engine part. But um, that's pretty much it with everything today. Um, you can like, share, comment, subscribe, and have a nice day.